It's 2018, and I'm spending the weekend at a friend's cabin. Today we'll be doing some winter exploring. Washington, smack dab in the middle of the Cascade Mountains. Previous night, we were checking out some snowfall as it came down, it came across a burning pile of wood. The following morning, myself, my friend Nader, and his brother Josh, we all set out to Sass Ridge, where we were going to see how far we could go up, and then sled our way back down. Often when we head out for a trail, I get put in the front seat and get a nice label of Chief Navigator. Doing my best using the maps on my phone as I navigate us through the National Forest routes. Somebody's having trouble. A couple of people having trouble. See, I only got two wheel drive. The original plan was actually to camp out on top of the ridge before a majority of people invited had to bail due to work. But that wasn't stopping us to at least do some preliminary scouting. To get to the trailhead of Sass Ridge, you'll have to take Force Route 4305. There should be signage that should help point the way. A 20 or 30 minute drive directly north from Cleelum. Today, I wasn't even going to begin and go through the effort of trying to get the camera going as we go uphill. <laughs> this particular area had actually been burned from the Jolly Mountain wildfire that had occurred earlier this year, making great opportunity to find dry materials to start a fire. Coal is your best friend if you want to get a fire going in the snow. With the usual method of starting small and working your way bigger to larger branches, putting your lighting materials right on top of the charcoal, it works as a pretty good insurance policy to keep the fire burning. In case the fire gets weak, there may be a good chance that that charcoal may have caught on fire and will keep burning, providing good radiant heat. Now let's see if we can make some record time by sledding our way back to the trailhead. hidden underneath the snow just utterly destroyed these sleds. Uh, can't you just put it in the sled? Alright. It was insisted that I take the sled and ride the rest of the slope down to the bottom of the trailhead. Use your legs, perfect. Stay right, stay right, you're perfect. You're perfect. You're perfect. Let it go left, let it go left. Let it go, send it. All the way, let it go. There we go. Yeah, yeah Daddy! Dude, that's the ride of a freaking century. Still going. Another friend of ours joining us real soon. He 
meantime, you'll see us heading out here, going for a quick stroll. During this time lapse, I thought I would fly my drone and got some pretty epic footage. Day two we headed out even further on National Forest Route 4305. We didn't know what we were gonna do, but with snow around, there's always something to figure out. This day here, I'm using my cinema camera compared to using the phone or GoPro the previous day. The aesthetics of the images may feel different in these shots. It was because I had an anamorphic lens converter in front of my lens. Just a little thing to point out, if anyone notices. At this point right here, we made some entertaining for ourselves, trying to knock off snow. Yeah. <laughs> Left hand, I'm there. I can't. I feel like a <laughs> idiot, but I did it. Yeah, you look dumb. You, you feel like a dumbass when you do it. <laughs> why, why is that? That cracks me up. Why can't I just throw it? It's fascinating to me. snowman oh, oh not just any snowman when this thing was done you might as well have called it an abominable snowman Snowman. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'll hold. You shape the base. Go 
go down a little, you got one. Here, I'll toss you a few things to see here. <laughs> that was for you. Now to find the right arms, huh? Is the face here or the face on that thing? Yeah, exactly. Target practice. Yeah. Pretty epic snow, man. for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date on the latest adventures I go on, click subscribe. And don't forget, click that bell icon to notify when I've uploaded a new one.